improving your curb appeal this season. You'll be inspired by this story. So Sharon went down to New York to work on an exterior project in the Hamptons. There's definitely a very distinctive architectural style throughout the Hamptons. We see these cedar shakes everywhere. Now, when they are natural cedar, they can easily be stained, or in this case, it's actually a vinyl, so that can be painted. But the homeowner wanted to focus on updating the front door for this project. So I decided to go with something a little bit more contemporary. You always want to draw from the cladding around the house. So I drew from that charcoal slate color in there and I went with wrought iron. It's a beautiful rich gray with a hint of blue. Now for the finish, I used grand entrance in a satin finish, not the high gloss. I think the high gloss would be a little bit too formal for this look. So now let me take you around to the back and see what I did with the deck. This deck was built over 20 years ago with a composite product. So structurally, it was still really sound. However, aesthetically, it was looking a little dated. So you can actually coat composite products after a really good power wash. I use Kendall charcoal, a nice dark gray with Arbor Coat solid stain. Now for the vinyl railing, I wanted a little contrast, so I chose classic gray. Now despite its name, it is actually a white, but it's not too stark, which is perfect for this environment. For the furnishings, I wanted to bring the modern interior feel of this house to the outside. So I went with some really simple white modern tub chairs and then accessorized with lots of black and white for a graphic pop. Brought in some plants and some wood planters to really make it a bit cozier. And so overall, we've got this beautiful oasis that's the perfect spot to enjoy this view. We're all drooling. Great makeover, Sharon. So repainting makes such a huge difference. We can all see it. Uh, but you have to follow certain tips and yeah. tricks in order to get it right. And you've got a few things that we need to sort of think about. Yeah, the exterior that. is a little bit trickier even than the interior because you've, you've got a, the architectural style is, is important as it is on the interior. But you've got the geography. You've got your neighbor's homes. You've got the trees. You've got the different lighting conditions. You've got yes. snow. You've got uh, trees. Yes. So a lot of things that, that change. So it's really difficult to visualize and it's also a big commitment So whether you're hiring someone or you're doing it yourself, you don't want to get it wrong. No, everyone's gonna know <laughs> Yes, and you don't want to have to do that again. Right? You don't want to have to do it again no. So there's a lot of different tools um, that can help you with that process But one thing that I really love is um, Using technology to start the process, you know me I always want to actually go to paint as soon as you can but trying things out is a really good idea. So one of the things we have, Benjamin Moore has a personal color viewer on the website and you can actually look, you can sort of scroll through and get an idea of um, the interior projects as well as the exterior projects. So there's bedrooms, there's dining rooms, bathrooms, but let's just go to the exterior and you can start a project. You can actually upload your own exterior, cool. which I have done a couple of times. The masking, you just have to go through that. But what I find it really helpful for people is to look at the overall, there's like eight different styles of homes. Find one that maybe suits the style of your house or that is similar, or mm -hmm. in my case, my dream house. Yes. <laughs> pick that one. Right? We'll just pick that one. Yeah. So I like the Elm House. So you can kind of get an idea of something that, you know, maybe has a big amount of body that you know you're going to be painting, or are you really just going to be focusing on the trim? Okay. So in this case here, you can actually go to your save projects so if you want to change the body of the color of the house to something much lighter because this is really good to give you an idea of do I want to go light do I want to go dark so you can kind of choose anything that you want and if you know the color that you want if you know oh I want the historical color putnam ivory yes. you can click on that you can see the huge difference it makes Right? Going from that, that sort of brick burgundy color to this nice, really uh, light color. Absolutely. And, and if you and have all shutters, that trim. surface, you're going to want to make sure that you're doing it right. Like that is a big, that's a big statement. That's a statement. big surface, right? And it takes yes. up a lot. And the thing is, the lighting is going to change it so much outside. Yes. So you want to, you can get an idea and you might think, I want to go light, but a lot of people mm what they think they want to go white and white is too white it's so too something white. like bleaker beige might be so it gives you a right. really good reference point even if it's not your own home and the front door is something that we always love to change right mm -hmm. so that you can kind of go in we'll go into a brighter color let's put heritage red and you can see how that's going to really pop and then you can oh, decide do you want to nice. put your trim white around it so again you can get a really good um you get the impact right off the bat yes but one of the things that um that i like to use it for is with front doors like sort of just to get an idea yeah so we 
I was working on that house project and I was in Toronto. It was in the Hamptons. Yes. So I had a photograph of the house before. I uploaded it onto the software yeah. and I was able to see that the Kendall charcoal I thought was going to work. I uploaded it onto the personal color viewer and when I yeah. put it on there, it actually looked a little bit washed out. And Kendall okay. charcoal is usually quite dark. Yes. So then I also tried it with wrought iron and wrought iron is a much darker color. So I've okay. actually got those two physical samples here. So when I was able to to see that on um, on the screen, I thought, okay, this is good. So I got the painter yes. to do a lot of physical samples because, as I said, the color is going to look so different when you've got the light hitting it. Yeah. So get your samples. As you can see in the shot, I, I went crazy and I There's got him to do whole like a bunch of different, <laughs> different samples. samples because yes. you know what? If you're going to do it, do it. And this was a big double door, right? Yeah. Yeah. The bottom left yellow one, that's a typo. That's when you say AF 240 and you just write 240, so it's a pale yellow. But oh, <laughs> got it. Again, it. doing a project from Toronto and Hamptons, it was a really good learning process for yes. me. But again, I saw those. When I got there, I had time to look at the physical samples and go, you know what? Rod iron is the winner. That's oh, what's going to look perfect. I can see the undertones. It yes. showed the blue and the gray undertone that I couldn't see on the visualizer, yeah. but it was also dark enough. So if you look at the final shot, when I was leaving the house, mm -hmm. you can see how the rod iron, it just it's really beautiful. tied in. It kind of brought a bit more of a contemporary spin. Next year, we're going to talk about painting out the all the shaker siding. <laughs> oh, you are going to talk yes. about that. So so the process is you go to the software, go yes. to the website, the personal color, what is viewer. it called? Personal color viewer. You narrow it down. Narrow it down. Out of all those ideas. choices. Yep. And then you go and get the samples paint your door, paint your, your window, door. or your trim, or whatever it is, it in a billion boards. different ways, yes. or boards, yep. like we did at my place. Like we did at your house, and then you can move yes. them around different sides of the house, so yeah. you get an idea how it's going to look at different times of the day. That's right. Then you're ready to commit to the gowns. Really good. I want to okay. also mention, with just with that, um, the, the personal color viewer, mm -hmm. you can do any room. So you can put on yes. a kid's bedroom, you can do the kitchen. That, I feel, gives people a safety net. Because there's so many options out there and you just, you don't want to do it wrong Absolutely. for the amount of time and money that money you're spending. Time, yeah, and it's so kind of fun really too. And it's fun. <laughs> I need one of those for your hair. Right. Like you can just. Hey, that's a good idea. Redhead. How 